Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fayetteville Ford YouTube channel. I'm here on the sunny, beautiful, windy Georgia day. It's absolutely beautiful. It was cold, rainy, and miserable yesterday. And today it's finally sunny again. We've got temperatures in the high 50s. There's no humidity. The air is crisp. I can breathe for once and I feel amazing. Uh, I've got pants on. Uh, well, I would sure hope I have pants on. I have dress pants on as well as a sweater and you can see a cap there on my reflection. So uh, I've dressed pretty well for this weather and I just feel really good. And I thought for a bright day, I would bring you a bright colored truck because this is one of my favorite trucks in the Ford lineup. You know, now the Ford trucks, we've got the Maverick, we've got the Ranger, which is this right here. We've got the F-150 and then you start to get into the F-250s and the F-350. So essentially, you have small, medium, large, extra large, and XXL. So take that with what you will. This kind of leans more towards the medium size, even though it's considered a small truck instead of a compact truck. Uh, this is no other than the 2022 Ford Ranger XLT with just under 4,000 miles. It's super clean. It's in very, very good condition. And you can see it's got that really, really nice Ford Ranger styling. Now, the Ford Ranger is very, very iconic in Ford's lineup. They've been making it for over 30 years now. It's a staple to people who are hauling wood and hauling things or may not have to haul as much as somebody who may need one of these. Uh, it's a very good package. It's got a four-cylinder engine, so it gets great gas mileage, and it is just a really, really nice truck. Take a look at these lights up here. They are halogen lamps, but they shine very far. You've got some tow hooks there to pull boats and things that you may need to pull. And just take a look at the styling. It's a very, very good-looking truck. And this truck, take a look at those wheels. This truck might be for that person who doesn't want something as small as a Maverick. And speaking of a Maverick, I know you guys are begging me to film that. I'm sure you are. I'm sure all my, you know, four subscribers are begging me to film that. And trust me, it's coming as soon as I can find one. But uh, the Ranger is more for that guy who wants a little bit more storage. Um, so I'll just go ahead and we'll check out the trunk. And I'm calling this a trunk because it's covered and has this nice carpeted lining back here. You won't be putting any firewood back here. That's, of course, unless you want to destroy this beautiful carpet, which feels really good. I mean, my God, you could sleep back here. If the kids are acting up or if they're too loud and assuming you have the truck in the garage on a cool night, you could just stuff them in here with some pillows and blankets and tell them to shut the hell up. That's a little too humane. Too humane for loud children. We'll get in the back seat. Speaking of children, they're going to be very happy back here. Uh, you've got nice material here on the door handle. You've got this beautiful door handle, and they can lock and unlock so they can escape, hopefully not into traffic. Um, you've got these seats that would withstand a nuclear explosion. They're in very, very good condition. Nobody's really ever sat back here. What's on that horn? Who's blowing the horn? Good God, I swear. Uh, take a look at the window back here. And you've got places to plug things and places to put more things. And there's a little bit of dust in here because you can see my detailer is A+. Plus. I mean, he's A+, plus all the time, I swear. Got blind spot monitoring there on the mirror. Just thought I would mention equipment like that. And take a look at the front door. You've got places for a bottle of vodka or whatever you take on the go. Maybe some Jack Daniels if you can fit a square bottle in there. I think you could probably fit a 375 mil bottle in there. Not too sure. Uh, you got your window controls, your the same lock and unlock button. You've got your door handle. Nice power seat there for the driver. And these seats are very, very comfortable. This truck kind of drives like an SUV, and I kind of like that about it. That's why this is my favorite truck. It doesn't drive too big, doesn't drive too small. Take a look at the interior. Let's go ahead and let's hop inside. It's got a nice thud when the door shuts. I don't know if it's this F-150, but it sounds really good. Nice. Um, switchblade key, you can use it as a weapon. You're in a midtown Atlanta parking garage and someone tries to mug you, you've got a weapon. All right, go ahead and buckle it up so it stops yelling at me. Um, you've got your gauge cluster here. You can see the odometer's just a little bit under 4,000 miles. We've got 3,700 on the clock. And can you believe it, a truck with gas in it? My God, I know I sure can. Uh, you got some buttons to control your screen and other miscellaneous things like your cruise control and then more voice commands and your radio controls. Over here, you've got your lights, which I always keep in automatic. You've got this button here that controls your dome light for your for the trunk area. I guess that's a trunk area, right? Um, you got my nice tennis shoes. Then we've got dual zone climate control with heated seats. I did not expect this truck to have that, but it does. Very nice stuff there. And you got your four wheel drive because this is four wheel drive. More places to plug things. Uh, you got your nice Ford screen with a nice, big, beautiful backup camera. And it's just a very, very nice truck in here overall. Lots of storage space for anything you may need. And this will be a really good truck for a small family, maybe even a couple, or if it's just you and 
I mean, this might be a really nice truck. Um, if you have an interest in this truck, feel free to shop it on our website at Fayetteville4GA.com or give us a call, 770-461-1151. Thanks, guys.